welcome to your Phoropter head refraction today. So we're going to be showing you some lenses, trying to enhance your vision a little bit. Some of the lenses I'll be showing you may be a little bit blurry, but don't worry too much. We'll try and land on the correct prescription, but we'll also be showing you some lenses at the same time. All you have to do is relax, listen to the sound of my voice and answer the questions accurately to the best of your ability. Okay, so can you see the chart straight ahead? Good. To make sure your PD is correct on the phoropter, yes. And you're feeling comfortable. Okay, so let's show you this lens. Is the chart clear with lens one or clear with lens two? Lens one or lens two? Or about the same? Looks about the same. Okay, next lens. Clear with lens three or two? Lens three or lens two. That's looking about the same. Okay, let's go up a little bit more. Okay, is that lens looking fairly clear for you? Good. We'll just drop back to the previous one. We'll call that lens one or lens two. A little bit clearer with lens one. Just make sure we've got the left eye occluded, yes. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to try a different aperture now. Okay, can you see the chart through this lens? There we go. Okay, so we have a smaller aperture for the top of the chart there. And let's show you some lenses. Clear with lens one or lens two. Are lens one clearer or lens two? Okay, we'll go for lens one. Okay, let me show you a different lens now. This. Actually, same aperture, a little bit lower down the chart. Okay, and next lens. Clear with this lens or without. That's with or without. Or about the same. With. A smaller aperture now, if possible. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so clear with lens one or lens two. That's lens one or lens two. Slightly lens two. Okay, well, let's check another aperture for you. Okay, so that's gone a little bit blurry now, hasn't it? So I'll show you this next lens, see if we can get the focus back. Good. Okay. Clear it with this lens. Or this lens. Okay, this lens here. That's fine. lens here and if I just put the previous
previous lens back in for you. Is that a better lens there? Excellent. So let's see if we can find the pinhole lens again. Where's the pinhole? We can look towards the SKD there. Is it clearer with lens one or clearer with lens? lens one lens two slight lens two wow. okay and just going to move another lens in here and first we'll change back to lens there and that's looking fairly clear at the moment with this lens it looks like you've accepted a little bit of minus prescription there, a little bit of minus prescription. So don't worry if your vision goes a little bit blurry with this lens. So that's looking quite clear still. Okay. We've just got a little flipper lens here. Everything's looking clear with the first lens or the second lens. First lens there, or the second lens, or about the same. Excellent. I can just change this lens here for you. Just want to refine the prescription a little bit more. Is it clearer with this lens or without the lens? With or without, or about the same. Oh, that's looking quite sharp there. Excellent. And we can change the aperture here. Okay, can you see a horizontal bar across? Excellent. Can you see some vertical a vertical bar there good and this aperture here clear with lens one or lens two one or two or the first okay that's zero Lens zero. Excellent. Okay, and we just need to refine this a little bit more. Okay, and things clearer with the first lens or the second lens. First or second. Okay. With this lens or without? With or without? With or without? Excellent. So we are going to occlude the right eye now. And we are going to check the prescription on the other eye. Okay, so as you're looking through the phoropter, is your vision clear or blurry? It's quite blurry. And the left eye has always been that little bit more blurry compared to the right, you feel. Okay, that's fine. And you don't wear any glasses at the moment. You don't wear any spectacles. Okay, so we'll try and sharpen the vision up, this left eye. First I need to check that the other eye is occluded. Just bear with me. Okay, 
out the other eye is occluded there let's just adjust you a little bit on the machine there okay so I'm going to show you a lens just tell me if the chart is cleared with or without it so that's with the lens and that's without It's with or clearer without. You feel that it looks clearer with this lens. That lens is a little bit clearer. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust that power for you. There we go. So that's looking fairly clear at the moment. I just want to show you some plus lenses now. So going the other way, up the scale, clear the width or without. That's width and without. Definitely clear the without. That's excellent. So, we seem to have the right spherical lens there. I think we may have to look at the astigmatism. We can bring this lens into play here. No, not this lens, I apologise. This lens here. How's the vision looking here? Okay, so another lens coming. Clear the width or without width or without. It's a little bit clearer without. That's excellent. So I'll just make a slight adjustment here. For you. And I just want to go back to this spherical lens here. Clear the with this lens or without. A little bit clearer with the lens. Okay, let me show you one more. With or without clear the width a little bit clear the width but not much difference okay and the next one that's lens one or lens two clear the width lens one or lens two it looks about the same it's going to go a little bit higher now. So. That's with the lens or without. Clear the with the lens or without. A little bit clearer without. Okay. So that's fine there. There we go. I can see your eyes feeling a little bit tired there. So I'll just give you a little bit of time to relax. And let your eye muscles settle a little bit. Maybe this will be a good time to change the aperture. There we go. So I want this lens here with this description here just to allow your eye to relax a little bit and let's see if we can find the pinhole on this smaller aperture uh, can you see the horizontal white bars there 
good. And uh, the white bar is a little bit vertical there. That's great. You're doing fine. Excellent work. Very impressed. Okay, so we want the smaller aperture. Where are you, smaller aperture? bit there we go so we're looking through the pinhole there and this is just focusing the vision on the macula mosa rather than the rest of the peripheral retina looking anywhere on the chart top middle bottom or even lower than that include it with lens one or lens two that's lens one or lens two. It looks about the same. Next lens, that's one. Or lens two. One. Or two. It looks about the same. Okay, so we'll go for this one. I'm just going to show you another lens now. Doing very well. With the lens or without? With or without? So both of them are looking a little bit blurry. That's absolutely fine. Just got a little bit of fatigue there. Let's go back to the original lens that you preferred. There we go. So is that fairly clear and comfortable at the moment? Excellent. Let's make a slight adjustment on the machine. So if we can go to put you here, just need to adjust the machine a little bit for you. Okay. So don't worry about not being able to see the whole chart. Just a quick lens, one or two clear. One or two. Good. Okay. And the next lens. One or two. We're going for number two there. Fantastic. And your eyes getting a little bit more tired there, isn't it? Okay. Let's just flip away from this lens for you. There we go. So how is that looking there? Looking fairly clear and comfortable? Excellent. So I'm just going to change the aperture in front of the left eye. Okay, you just keep looking at the chart for me straight ahead. Okay. And I just need to refine the PD here. going to give you this extra bit of prescription here. Is that still okay? What about this one? Not so clear. That one's a little bit better for you. Okay, and what about this lens? That makes you feel a little bit woozy. And that's zooming in a little bit better there, is it? That's great. So it looks like we're nearly there in terms of prescription. If I can just go once more to the pinhole lens. There we go. Can you see the R at the top of the chart? Good. Clear with lens one or lens two. About the same. So we're just going to refine this. Excellent. Okay, and if I just just refine this astigmatism, so 
So the astigmatism is probably around 90 degrees in your left eye. Certainly your vision is a lot better than when we started with this eye. So now we'll be looking there. It's a lot better than before, isn't it? The vision in the left eye. But so if you can, I would like you to read the letters on the chart for me as far down as you can. Maybe start on the third row down if you can. So I've got S, C, N, O, Z, and V. C, N, H, Z, O. OK. That is excellent. The row below, is that just a little bit too blurred to read? OK. Can you read the row with this lens? Or this one, is that a little bit tricky? What about this lens? Definitely not with that lens, okay. So this lens is giving you the best acuity so far. Excellent. So I'm going to record your prescription down and I will give you a copy. Looks like we can enhance the vision in each eye. Definitely the left eye. As I say, you will have a copy of the prescription. And if I just bring this one down here, just to double check, that doesn't make any improvement, does it? Even if I flip this lens here. Okay, and just once more. Can you see the next row down here? Maybe one or two letters. What can you see? An R? Maybe a Z? And maybe a D. That's very good. Excellent work. Excellent work. So I will print your prescription copy off now. And I will see you in the clinic again soon.